Despite not getting the top five pick in the recent draft, I think the Dubs won the 2021 lottery when they drafted Jonathan Kaminga at seven. Shot clock at six, now drives, gets into the paint. Nice speed, Kaminga, Kaminga! The... I know I say this a lot, guys, but sheesh. Let's watch that dunk again. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Kaminga is on his way to greatness. Unless you haven't tuned into a Warriors game yet, I think we can all agree that Kaminga is well on his way to becoming a superstar in the NBA. I mean, 6 foot 8, about 225 pounds, a 6 foot 11 wingspan, and with the athleticism of a Ja Morant, let me tell you guys, this is a prototype body of a player who really has all the physical gifts of becoming unstoppable in the league. Just the other night, he met LeBron James for the first time on an NBA court, and he wasn't scared one bit of taking on the challenge of going against one of the greatest players of all time. Here, take a look. Here's Kaminga in the corner, and he's about to cut to the rim and... Look at that, guys. LeBron didn't want any of that smoke at all. Not even a slight contest. Yeah, and that wasn't the end of it either. Check out this next clip. Clay's about to shoot a three. This was one of his rare misses of the game. Standing around the hoop is LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, and this guy, and that guy. It's literally five yellow jerseys, but in the middle of all that is Kaminga. Now look at Steph here. He's probably saying, thank God we drafted this kid. Kaminga is indeed perhaps the biggest deal of the draft coming in seven, and again, the credit goes once again to the Dubs organization as they just have a knack for finding diamonds in the rough. Warriors assistant coach Larry Harris was one of the guys who specifically kept an eye and handpicked JK in the draft. In an interview, he shared in detail his thought process in picking JK and here's what he said. Although it was a one-on-zero workout, you could see the explosiveness, you could see the power, you could see the drive that he has. Hey, he's six foot eight. He's athletic. The shot is not broken. Maybe a tweak here and there. So you're convinced from a basketball skills standpoint, you can work with this. But beyond the physical aspect, as well as the amazing things that he can do inside the court, Harris was sold by the way Kaminga carries himself as a person. But then really what kind of sells us, character and IQ matter. So just sitting down with him and getting to know who he was for a two and a half hour dinner, where he's just by himself with us, the real true character shows up. We were impressed with how driven he was, how he was able to carry himself. He was impressive. If you want to be a great player in the league, the combination of skills, physical tools, and talent alone can only bring you to a certain point. But if you want to get to the next level and be considered amongst the best of the best, you've got to have that winning mindset, that strong character, and that Mamba mentality in order to overcome the challenges in your journey to greatness. Because make no mistake, those challenges will come. Moving on here. JK is one of those unicorns that possesses the rare combination of size, speed, and strength. Allow me to show you what I'm talking about. First, Curry sets a beautiful back screen to free up JK, but as you can see, Nemanja overcooked the pass on this play. But lo and behold, JK was there to save the day and managed to grab the ball at an insane altitude. He blocked it into the backboard. Oh, that lob, just the catch was amazing. And then Kaminga scoring inside. In this next clip, you really see JK's agility as he smoothly rolls to the rim. Now, when a defender challenged him, JK just put him in the weight room and he got the and one. Just in three of his last four games, but defensively, Trent's also logged eight total steals over the past five. With his massive frame and tremendous mobility around the court, Kaminga and the Warriors are a match made in heaven. I mean, he's versatile enough to add different dimensions to the dubs, not only on offense, but on defense as well. Here the Dubs deployed a 2-3 zone against the Spurs with Kaminga playing as the center, and even if that's not his natural position, JK still played that center role perfectly here by protecting the rim with his athleticism and length. Now on offense, JK is starting to learn how to lead the break on his own, and as you can see here, it's only a matter of time before he becomes a freight train like LeBron and Giannis. And with that being said, here's what Klay Thompson recently said of the young warrior. Gosh, he's just a very young, strong man with incredible athleticism and his skills are more polished than people want to give him credit for. I wasn't doing that at 20 or 19. I was in Pullman, 
Warriors fans should be very excited for our future. Having the vets we do and the young talent, it's rare in sports. Just got to keep him humble and keep working because he does things that cannot be top. Those are some pretty big words coming from a big time player. Anyway, moving on here. In case you're not following their games, JK has been consistently scoring double figures in the last six games, with an average of 16.6 points, 5 rebounds, 1.8 assists, and logging just about 27 minutes of ball game while shooting almost 57% from the field. And not only is he producing, but it's not empty stats. Kaminga is impacting games and helping the Warriors win. Now, some people don't like statistics and say it's overrated, but the thing is, Kaminga is passing the eye test too. It's clear from the trends that we've been seeing on the court and on paper that this kid is well on his way to greatness, and I'm absolutely stoked that he's seen way more court action than when the season first started. Anyway, since we're talking about his scoring, let's see how JK picks his spots on offense. In this clip, you can see that JK can create his own shots in ISO situations. When Fournier shuts him down here, JK went for a counter spin to finish the play beautifully. And the same thing happened here. Now, if there's one area of his game that needs to be improved, then it has to be his outside shooting. But despite only shooting it at about 30%, JK could still make you pay if you leave him wide open. Anyway, in his bag of tricks, JK also has some sound low post play moves. Using his size and strength, JK often finds mismatches on the court, then just backs down the defender. Then when he gets close enough, he's got that little jump hook game going for him which he uses to finish these plays with finesse. And talking about versatility, JK is definitely learning Warriors basketball because he's contributing immensely even when he doesn't have the ball. So Westbrook himself has got to understand he's got to play better. To me, if they're going to get to where they, wow, they're going to get... After Steph missed the three, Draymond grabbed the loose ball in this possession, and while everyone was in shambles, JK remained active and went hard to the rim with a reverse finish. In this familiar backdoor play for the dubs, JK stuck to their set by setting an initial screen for Clay, and when Steph did the same thing for him, he just ran towards the rim and flushed it home. Now, in this last off-ball play, Clay got an open lane as he attacked coming from the curl. When JK's defender decided to help, JK ran simultaneously with him heading to the rim and got rewarded for it. Aside from being such a good off-ball player, JK also has an underrated motor, and he's also a hard-working player, just like Draymond, who never gives up on every possession and loves to hustle. Now, let me show you some plays here that showcases his energy and efforts on both ends. After missing the shot, you can see here that four other blue shirts already gave up on the play. But just take a look at what JK is about to do. And on Hayes again, he gave ground, got his own rebound, put it up and out, tipped it again, Kaminga one more time. And here against the Knicks, JK's help D was impressive here as he came from the weak side just to try blocking Randall's layup attempt. That's something that centers like Rudy Gobert often do. And in this final play, JK's hustle grabbed the spotlight once again as he changed a boring regular defensive rebound into an instant highlight reel putback dunk. Kaminga is well on his way to greatness, and what better way to start this journey than being with well-experienced, battle-tested teammates who are more than willing to take him under their wings. These four guys already have the blueprint for success and know what it takes to get to the top. Undefeated's Mark Spears specifically talked about this topic in an interview. Among the four accomplished veterans of the team, he singled out Iggy as the guy who should mentor and guide JK to the next level. Andre Iguodala's locker needs to be next to his. You need that kind of mentoring around him, and he has time to do it. Steph, Clay, Draymond, they don't have time. Iguodala, he has the time, and he would do a great job at it. That kid's going to be special in time. Now, to cap this one off, here's what JK had to say when a reporter asked him about how he can achieve his superstar potential. As long as I put my work in and respect everything I have to do to get there, I know that's a real possibility. I'm still a rookie and working my way there. Hopefully it happens, but I know it's going to happen at some point. I believe in my work, so I'm going to get there. Anyway, one thing I'm super excited about is the return of Draymond Green. With Kaminga on the rise, how much better are the Warriors going to be when their heart and soul returns to the court? Well, you don't have to think about that because I'll show you all in this video right here. I break down exactly what the Warriors are going to be like once Dre gets back, and trust me when I say, you don't want to miss this video. Anyway, click on his lightning eyes, and like always, I'll see you on the other side.